Prince Albert Challenge Cup. Cambridge University on the Buck Station, Isis Boat Club and the Berkshire Station. And the incredibly impartial Sarah Winkless alongside me. Yeah, isn't it always interesting to watch Oxford and Cambridge meet each other and this point in the regatta and it will be um, something that they will be looking forward to. When I was looking at the ones to watch, um, I did pick this match up just because, of course, um, a few weeks ago these guys would have been, or months ago now actually, would be against each other in the boat race. I think we've got some goldie men um, in, in both in one crew and ISIS men in the other, um, along with the spare pair. So interesting to see who wins on this occasion. Yeah, three members of the Goldie boat, Cambridge University, are here. Victorious against ISIS in the reserve races in 2021. It was a few months ago now, wasn't it? Time flying. Yeah, and of course, on that occasion, I was standing in the umpire's launch and um, watching the men's boat race, um, or umpiring the men's boat race. Um, I had a little bit of work to do. You did. You were kept very busy. I was glad to see that, actually, on that afternoon. Nice to see you putting a proper shift in. And again, interesting for um, the coaches, Rob Baker and Sean Bowden, who I'm sure will be overseeing these programmes and managers. This is a lot later for them. So boat race, as we talked about earlier in the season, March, April, a real peak for these athletes. And then you're almost starting when you get to August to think about next year's campaign because everything is so front loaded for these universities. And these men from Cambridge will have their eye on, no doubt, on, on their campaign because they are, they are getting the better of Oxford on this campaign. So the Prince Albert Challenge Cup, you see the Cox there, tell us about the Cox Sarah. it's a quite intriguing position they're in, if you're uh, new to the sport of rowing you can see the Cox chatting through the race and they're looking at a completely different direction to all the, to all the athletes behind. Yeah, Oliver Boyne there, he's in what we call a front loader eight, as you can see it is front loaded and he can almost, well he can see, you can see the bowman's back on his um, head, but apart from that he can only go on the clear of the boat and they are so, so important these coxswains because they give feedback to the men, they keep them together and in a cox um, list boat we could have an athlete doing it but the cox here can really really make a difference and just watching there where Oliver's um, steering practice I noticed he's moved out a tiny bit and got his boat clean away from the boy, boys and um, the booms um, but yes it is Cambridge they are uh, very very flat in the way they are rowing this race they've been doing their train no doubt at Ely um, in the Fens, where we had the boat race this year. Um, very used to that, very still, calm, or windy, as the case be, but, but no river traffic. So quite interesting to have the noise and bustle of this regatta. And Oxford, no doubt, would have been over on the Wallingford Strait doing their preparation for this. They have been over on the Wallingford Strait. I've uh, seen them myself well, as, a, as a local to that part of the world. They've been on the water a lot there. And yeah, very different environment for the Cambridge boat to experience is pretty different for everyone, the Henry Royal Regatta, but quite an extreme difference for them. And looking at the ISIS crew there um, and their cox, um, Charlotte Grayson, making sure that they're in the right place. So she's done a fantastic job. They, they're, they're rowing well, they've got into a good rhythm again, another flat rhythm. And I think this this uh, um, vent here we're going to see uh, the intermediate um, vent that is the Prince Albert. Um, some really quality racing. Um, it is a, the, it sits amongst the in between the open and the university or, or club events um, for the senior men. And um, these boats, these men, who having raced at the boat race, are not able to enter the, the lower events. They have to compete at this level. That is the level that they are expected to compete at or, or higher. So Oliver Boyne, the Cox there in the sunglasses, in a very low position scraping along the surface of the water and you can How? see him there he's talking constantly to his men he'll be giving them feedback and actually the crew the bowman will probably be telling him what the gap is because yes. what oliver can't see is where the other crew is so what he can tell them is about how it feels, but he'll need feedback from his crew. And that's exactly what I was about to ask. You can have no knowledge at all of where the opposition are. So communication is key in this boat. And Cambridge have done a good job. So over the line, Robert Harris, Luca Ferraro, Ruth Boyrick, 
and Matt Edge. Oliver Boyne, the Cox, who we've been talking about a fair bit during the race. And now they know the deal is done. They've wrapped it up, they can drop the break down and head over the line. A little bit of celebration there from Boyne, top of the boat, turns round to high-five a couple of his crewmates. So Cambridge University threw against ISIS. <laughs> 